What's good, the Money and Life Movement? JJ Ramos again. Welcome back to TikTok, IGTV, or LinkedIn. Well, wherever you're, wherever you're watching, wherever you're watching this one. Welcome back to my channel, and it's time again for Advocacy Friday. So, as usual, we're going to discuss uh, the blog post that I've chosen to talk about first, and of course, the objection of the week. If you're into selling, never marketing, or a home entrepreneur, you should watch this to the very end. All right. So let's get down to business. Here's this blog post of mine called "Waking Up Early." All right. You guys know who Robin Sharma is. He's famous for the 5 a.m. habit. All right. Waking up at 5 a.m. Does uh, does wonders to productivity, even uh, even your own personal psyche, right? It's very true. Now, I've talked about there the uh, the benefits, right? The benefits of waking up early, literally waking up early, as early as four to five a.m. Okay, everything's quiet, no interruptions. Nothing to distract you from what you want to do when you wake up at five at either four or five a.m. Waking up early, right? You can uh, you can get to work right away or finish the work you you put off you put off for sleep, right? Or either well, either literally start your day like. Exercising, uh, eating breakfast. If you're not on the keto diet, of course. All right. If you're not on the keto diet, you can uh, you can eat your breakfast already. Or well, the main thing that you are waking up early for, getting grind. You start you start your you start your morning by grinding already. Right. If you're if you're an influencer, you put out content. You put out. Uh, yeah, you put out content as, as early as that, right? You engage your audience. There's a, there's a plethora of things you can do by waking up early. After waking up early, right? Let's be let's be specific on that, okay? So basically, that's that's what the that's what my blog post is all about. Now, fast forward. I wrote that. I think probably three yeah three years ago more or less three years ago fast forward to 20 2020 all right fast forward to 2020 how are you going to incorporate this habit in 2020 well, very easy just decide just decide to do it all right just decide to do it then pull out a plan on what you on what you should do after waking up that early right you should you should have a plan right? post it on post it somewhere when you where you can where you can instantly see it the moment you wake up okay yung kagad makikita nyo pagkagising nyo yeah it's very easy it's very easy to get into that habit all right whether you're on the keto diet or not waking up early is uh what's it called this it's quite it's quite it's quite uplifting right it's powerful right it gives you that power it takes uh, it gives you the power literally to change your life to change the way you do business to change to change the way you do the way you um, interact with other people right catch my drift so if you want uh, if, if, if you haven't read the that post link in the description right so that's our blog post blog post for this episode on the objection of the week but first a word from our sponsors what's up guys jg here i want to uh want to pitch this this co-working venue right now it's called workspace okay it's located here in the heart of Pasita One, 
And well, so far I'm, uh, I'm pretty satisfied well, with their service and the amenities. Okay, let, let's show you. Let me show you. All right. Okay. We're actually in the uh, we're actually in the conference room. Uh, kung saan pwede kayo mag-avail ng mga seminar packages. All right. I'm seriously considering, okay? I'm seriously considering their seminar packages kasi minsan mag-group meeting or if the, if, uh, if funds are enough, business opportunity meeting, right? This is the conference room. Up and down yan. Okay. 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 There's a, uh, there's a screen there. So let me show you the, yeah, the main work area. Ayun yung ano. I'm currently batch producing episodes right now for our Vocacy Friday and uh, I've seen a lot of co-working venues pero ang layo eh. Ang layo sa pasita. Until I found this one, it was a good choice. Okay, a lot of it's a, best, it's a very positive environment, okay? Very conducive for influencers like me, all right? I don't have to, I don't have to batch for those episodes in a mall anymore, okay? Na, nasisitahin ka pa minsan-minsan. If, if, if you're a vlogger like me, you, I, I bet you've experienced that before, all right? So, kabuti pa, mag-invest na lang kayo or a co-working space para tayo nyo kayo makakapag-batch po sa mga episodes na nyo. They, they, they allow ito na. Alright. It's the main work area. Ito ka na lahat yan. Marami silang mga outlets. Okay? Either pwede kang magpa-charge ng cellphone or like in my case, nakakabit yung laptop ko. Okay? I don't have to bring the battery anymore. So, self-service. Ang ano nila? Let me show you the self-service. Okay? Okay? Pasa pang nag-co- pasa pang nag-co-working kayo dito, libre ang kape. Okay? Tsaka yung libre snacks yan. Libre snacks, ano? Pasa pang nag-co-working ka. Or just a coffee. Okay. At least yung coffee libre. <laughs> so, here's the sound service area. Right? Now, yung rates nila, medyo, yung rates nila, uh, competitive, affordable. Now, uh, if you plan to <clears throat> set up group meetings. Okay. Dito na lang kayo. Kaysa nung... Kaysa yung usual style na either Jollibee, Macdo, or Max. Kaya mapagasos pa kayo. Alright? Mapagasos pa kayo. If it's a quick... Uh, a quick BOM or business opportunity meeting, mga 3 hours, kaya na yun. Kahit di na sila kumain. Alright? So, remember the name. Workspace. Alright? Now, uh, Okay, so, what's up? Remember the name, Workspace, all right? Check you later. Sponsors are done. Okay. On to the objection of the week. What's the objection now? Send me a proposal. I'm sure you have heard this objection before. Kung, kung may home business kayo, if you're into selling or well basically if you're offer if you're offering something all right <clears throat> now when i was uh, when i was into real estate okay i would open i would uh, i would openly uh, offer offer proposals okay? when i was in real estate and in and uh, selling insurance. Would you like a proposal for that? You know, unang banat ko. So I found out later on that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be that would be wrong because you're instantly you're instantly um, selling yourself. Uh, you're instantly denying yourself of the sale. Why? Because well, you've already given the prospect a free hand into the product or service you're offering. Siya bahala. And more often than not, they direct sa company yan. Hindi ka nakahanapin. Alright? For this objection, uh, Dan Lok always says that prospects lie 
all the time. This objection is the personification of that. All right. <clears throat> now, just recently, I offered a um, what's it call this? I offered a a big brand, okay, a big coffee brand. Um, my services as an influencer. So I asked them through DM. So DM ko sila through sa Instagram. I asked them, what's it gonna take for me to become an influencer of yours? Right? Very straightforward. It's a very straightforward question. And they answered, send us a proposal. Then they, <laughs> then they sent their email address. All right. Here was my rebuttal. Pakinggan nyo to. I forgot what my room Okay, okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember it, alright? I'm trying to remember it. Okay. Here's my room What do you specifically want to see in that proposal? And up to now, they haven't, they haven't replied. They haven't replied to it yet. I have yet to receive their reply on that. Okay? Because, well, for me, it's not that hard to, <clears throat> to recruit influencers. Okay? It's not that hard to recruit influencers. If I were a company, I would look for influencers right away. Right? And if someone, and if an influencer asks me that kind of a question and what's it gonna take for me to become an influencer of yours i would answer them by not asking them for a proposal right i would set qualifications i would set qualifications i would not base it on vanity metrics like likes like uh, subscribers or followers because that's why they're called vanity metrics that's why they're called vanity metrics Right now, return, let's return to, the, to my rebuttal. I wanted to be, these days, I want to be as straightforward to the prospect as possible. Right? I got experience backing me up. That is my weapon now in the profession of selling. So, I asked them, what do you want to specifically see in that proposal? Anong, gusto, anong kailangan yung makita sa proposal na yun? They've yet to answer. <laughs> they have yet to answer that rebuttal of mine. Hanggang hinihintay ko pa nga sa Instagram eh, na mag-reply sit, na i-reply nila yun. Now, if they, if they reply, if they reply positively, all good. I will, I will write a proposal, but not to the point of getting technical about it. Alright? There's nothing technical of being, of being an influencer. There's nothing technical about influencership. There's something technical about this, about this thing. Siguro simple, simple email lang. Right? Simple email. I'm gonna be straight, I'm going to be straight to the point with them. So, that'll, that'll all, but the cut on, it'll only boil down to a yes or no. That's what I'm getting. If you're into selling, all right, if you're into selling uh, things, products or services that that really need proposals, you should be you should be short and sweet, all right. Be be direct be direct to the point when it comes to the prospect asking a proposal. You have to know specifics, right? So that's it. That's the objection of the week. Now. If you found value in this episode, you know the you know the drill. Hit that to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. This basically ends this episode. And well, thank you guys for watching, uh, watching up to this point, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta la vista, man, in life movement.